What's up guys, Redneck Gamer 13 here, and in today's video, um, well today's second video, this is actually a little bit of a switch up. I haven't done a Minecraft video in probably two years, maybe longer. I've had this channel for a little over two years. But, uh, I don't think I've actually done a Minecraft video on this channel. I think it was actually my last channel, so it might have been three years ago. I don't know. It's been a while, though. And, uh, this is my house I built here. It's, like, my dream kind of style. My buddy built that house over there. Um, but yeah, this is, like, uh, my dream house right here. There's stuff I kind of want to do to edit it a little bit, but, you know. Um, so, yeah, this video, you're wondering how to build a diesel truck. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. This is the diesel truck I will be showing you how to build. This is not what it will look like. I actually had it on um, the uh, city texture pack so this truck looks totally different at the end of the video i will show you how much different this truck looks but um if you maybe i'll do this on the top because all it does is makes it more realistic like when i hit the button it turns the lights on like it would in real life so that's all that's for and then it's got the sun and the moon roof but uh yeah without further ado let's get into this so, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit because I actually haven't done a build on this truck in like forever. So, I kind of forgot how it's set up. So, I might have to go back and look at this one every once in a while. Oh yeah, I didn't get to take up that whole road. How wide is it? Hold up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 blocks wide. But yeah, it's pretty detailed. I mean, I got these uh, brewing stands for the suspension. And then I got... Oh, shit. I got the um, lever under there as part of it, too. So it looks all connected. So, yeah, we're going to go with, like, a block away from the edge. I'm thinking that's pretty good. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oops. Yeah, so this is definitely different. I haven't done this in a while. I'm thinking we're going to go with a white truck. White truck ain't bad. That'll be pretty sweet looking. Um, we could go with a red one. I'm thinking red will actually pop a little bit more. So that's what we'll do. So yeah, you, you just get, like, these are going to be the rear wheels right here. Now, I don't think I made this one a dually, did I? Yeah, so this one isn't a dually, but uh, just because I want to show you guys the difference, I'll actually make this one a dually. So what you're going to do is just place another block in front of it, just like that, and I don't think I'd, yes, I did. So then you're going to place two more behind it like that, so you just want like a four block square here. And then, what you're going to do after that is do something like that, I guess. And then just get rid of the two center ones. And build it around like that. So you kind of have this like four block square. And then this little thing going around it, which is going to be the... Uh, wheel well I 
and then what you're going to do after that is get whatever you know you think looks best to use for the bed of a truck uh, oh what they added more of this oh red concrete really what's that look like Oh, that's cool, but it's not as cool as this nether wart. Now, another wart is definitely different. I've never done anything like that for a truck. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta do some things different. Another brick. I don't know, we'll figure out something for that. But for the bed of the truck... I don't know what to use. I actually know what. Yeah, I do. We're going to go with some black concrete. Do they have, like, gray? I don't know. We're going to look. We're going to have a look between... Because actually black might be good for the wheels. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. That's the only problem. The wheels blend in though. So gray or black. Gray or black. I'm thinking black. So what I'm going to do with this red is get rid of it. And then... I'll say we'll come out to like right there. That'll be pretty good. And then we'll bring this black over to the other side, like so. Wanna do it like that or what? Man, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm sorry if you guys are uh, getting a little impatient with how long this takes. I don't know how long this video has been going, but I feel like it's been going on for ever already. But, yeah, I haven't actually built a truck in a while. So, I guess you can kind of do that, or, you know, if you want to put the reverse on the bottom and the brake on the top, I guess I can show you the differences. So, yeah, whichever one tickles your fancy, uh, go ahead and get it done. Yeah, I think we'll just do it like that. I actually don't know. I think I'm going to do it this way right here and then what I normally do is something like that oh so this is actually different I don't normally start with the bed of the truck usually the bed of the truck is the last thing I do but oh well so, yeah, that's that's pretty much going to be the bed right there. I mean, there might uh, be a little bit more to it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what the lights are on this. I'm sure it looks better on the other world, but um, I just want to see how long this is. That's one long truck. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm thinking we're gonna do like another row. 
That actually shit I done, dude, screwed up the bed. And I... Man, I haven't done a dually in forever. I know it's never got two blocks like that of the bed. Now I know this probably just made it look way too wide and disgusting, but uh, just wait for it. Maybe it is wider than what I normally do, the dualies. I think it actually is, but you know what? At this point, it's whatever. I'm not turning back and switching it up now. Do that and bring this one up a little bit. I have no clue what I'm going to do for the floor on the inside yet. So uh, we'll just do it like that. Go like that. That'll be... Right there will be the back seat. Come in. Sit right there. And then I don't know if I want to... Okay. I think it's starting to come back to me how I used to do these a little bit. I think that's actually going to be a smaller cab than what that one has, but, oh well. I'm thinking we'll just do a simple black concrete on the inside of this one, just like we did in the bed. And then go like that. Now, I'm sorry if I am going a little fast with this. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the inside after. And then the front, you can bring out however far you want. I mean, it it's all up to you. It depends on what you're... I guess, I mean, if you want to... When I was younger, I figured this out and I actually would like build the front end bigger if I want to make it like a 3500 or I'd build it a little bit smaller if I want to make it a 25 and I'd actually like figure out different things I could say where like turbos and whatnot and throw it in here but uh, yeah, I think we'll just go like that, the front, throw that in the corners, um, yeah, that'll be a big enough front end, I think, well, actually, no, it won't, because I gotta throw the tire in here, so this one, uh, is definitely being built a little bit different than how I normally do this. Okay, that is definitely the, uh, that's definitely what I'm used to right there. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna give it that stance, throw the tire out wide. Instead of putting it down under like that, we're gonna throw it out wide. So, yeah, all right, now, this part may seem a little different, like, I would literally come, come in here, and I would use a beacon as, like, a turbo, and I'd use, uh, 
Oh, you know what? I actually built a truck that I pretended was supercharged back when I was like, I don't know, eight or nine. So I threw the anvil on the hood and had that as like the blower and whatnot. It was amazing how I used my imagination back then. Uh, what the hell am I looking for now? Oh, furnace. And then uh, cauldron, I'd fill that with water. That'd be like the cooling system. It was pretty uh, fun to build these trucks like that and whatnot, but... Uh, if you're wondering why I'm putting furnaces here, well, for one, it uh, makes it look a lot better when you go and, like, that's supposed to be the grill, so it makes it look a lot better than what oh, you bastard and what just putting red there would do so and I mean you can go with something simple like that you know you can come here and build it out or something you know there's like a whole bunch of things you can do with the front of that to make it like because that actually kind of looks cool the other way looks cool i don't know i'll just see what i have on this one here yeah i have what i oh i have it a little bit different on here okay so yeah you know it, it's pretty cool i'm just gonna throw that there throw that there i'm just gonna toss a couple furnaces up in here this would look like if I just do red so I don't have to do nothing fancy to the hood again I apologize for taking a very long time on this build but that see that to me is ugly shit but we're gonna go with that and then I might just get like I could just get some carpet and cover it up maybe some black carpet you know and just just take it and bang bang boom cover up the whole hood and then you know if that's too plain and you're not really digging it then you can go with like some Dodge Challenger design here. Well, actually, you might not want to do it right there. Uh, red Nether? Sure, why not? You know, you, there's a whole bunch of things you can do to make it look good. That's just, that's something I'll let you guys figure out on your own time. Um, we're just gonna 
get back into finishing this up. So, I I like the look of tinted windows. So I mean, oh shit, I don't use glass panes on this truck. Are you Alright, so I am fucking up a little bit here. That's okay. Happens. Damn it. So yeah, you can use whatever you guys want to. I just kind of want to give it like a little bit of a tinted window kind of style. But yeah, it's definitely starting to come together now. And then once you get that done, you can just go over the top here. And again, when you know how to build this, I mean, you can just mix colors and make, like, many different styles. And, you know, you can, um, you don't even have to go dually like I did. You could, uh, you know, go single wheel like I did on that truck. Um, that's the part I forgot to do. I don't know why I do it, but I always do. I put, like, this little visor kind of thing here. Again, I don't know why. I, it just, like... Me adds a little bit of character to the truck, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, this cab's definitely smaller than the other one. cab is definitely smaller. Huh. So, and then, you know, if you guys, um, actually do like diesel trucks in real life and you have a preference on what you like, whether it's Ford Power Stroke, Chevy Duramax, Cummins, you know, I, I don't like throwing Dodge in front of Cummins because Dodge don't even, they have nothing to do with the Cummins. Cummins is Cummins, Dodge is Dodge. And in my opinion, Dodge just, you know, you'd think they'd figure out a different transmission to throw behind that Cummins engine, but no, they haven't. And that's the only problem with buying a Cummins is that Dodge transmission behind it. Or if it's, to be honest with you, I don't know if it is them. It might be them. If it's not them and they have somebody else that does the transmission and puts it in there, then they need to not use them anymore. Simple as that. But, anywho. Not going to be bashing on any of the trucks here because well everybody has a preference and I really don't want to hear it or I don't want to see it in the comments you know about oh this is better what not which is why I'm not going to go as far as saying you know like Ford sucks or Chevy is shit you know nothing like that I used to sit here and say it but not anymore. So that bed is kind of looking a little bit short, but just for the sake of this video and how far we are into it, I'm not going to uh, redo it. But we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. I think it's time to get rid of all that and then I just thought of a new design actually and I want to see how it looks you could throw some iron bars like all around the back here you know what I'm saying I 
No, that that's ass. That's like straight up ass. That's okay, but no. No, that's terrible. Not okay. So, and what you're going to do is get the darkest one. What would that look like? Ew. Just ew. <laughs> I'm thinking the uh, regular old trap doors is what I'm feeling. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how we're going to do that. And then you just throw those up in there so you can hop up in and whatnot. Um, then, you know, if you want to, like, make a hitch or something, um, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to throw license plate on here and, you know, do whatever to the back, then... You can do that, but one thing I failed to mention is you're going to have to dig into the... What the hell? You're going to have to dig into the ground to get to the stuff again, and I forgot... Oh, wait. Yeah. So you throw those in there like that. That's like your suspension pretty much. And bam. That side's done. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have other things you're going to do to this. And uh, they might be pretty cool. If you guys come up with some... Uh, well... I don't know how I could do that. I was going to say if you guys come up with some pretty cool um, different designs or whatever to uh, take pictures and put them in the comments. But I'm almost certain that nobody would do it. If you want to, you can because I'd be interested to see in, uh, what you guys have in mind for them and whatnot, but if you don't, then don't, it's totally fine. Now I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, I need trap doors again. So, if you guys are liking this so far, drop a like. Because I'm thinking that the truck is actually looking pretty decent. I, You know, every time I build one, I do a different design on it. And this is the first time I've done this. Like, uh, the red brick with the um, nether quartz or whatever it is here. So, I did do that side, didn't I? No suspension in the back here, though. Okay. So, the next major part I want to get into here is the inside, because I just want to show you guys how I do that. Is a difference here. Smooth quartz. Yeah, 
this is definitely a different uh, style to but then if you um, want like a lot of storage in your truck Then uh, you can do like a center console setup like that. Which is actually pretty cool looking. I haven't seen it done like that. Because then you got two double chests here. You know, you got. Uh, oh, I do have a American flag banner. Well. Might have to see how that would look on the truck. I mean, if you're not going to do stacks, there you go, America. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, if you're uh, going to do stacks, I'll show you how I do those in a second here. So basically what I do up here is I normally just like throw a chest in right there. I'll throw something in right there for like a radio. Throw a little steering wheel in here, you know. And uh, a jukebox there. And I've just put the CDs in here. And then what I do for the radio is I just get like, where is it? I think we're, I'm gonna go with uh, these for stacks like I normally do, but no, where is that picture frame? Right there, item frame. Yeah, so first steering wheel, I just get that item frame and then uh, normally just go with. Something that kind of looks like a steering wheel. <laughs> so far I'm not seeing anything that could pass for one. Oh, here we go. I guess we could just use this. So, I mean, you could do something like that for a steering wheel. Or if you want something bigger, then you could do something bigger. But that's all I'm going to do. And then doors, obviously you can throw on whatever you want for the back here. Probably just, normally I do like a full bench in the back. But I'm thinking I might do that for the center. Actually, you know what, no, I will do a full like bench seat and then put chests on the sides. Mm. So there's your inside. Uh, throw that in there. For the stacks, that's pretty simple. I just normally do that for stacks with the uh, cobblestone wall, I think it is. And then if you want bigger stacks, you can go ahead and do that. I haven't figured out anything for like a normal exhaust pipe yet. Um, if you want to do an axle dump, I'm sure there's some way you could do it. On the next truck that I build for you guys, yes, I do have another style. And it's not anything like this. It's completely different. Um, if you guys like this one, of course, then I will go ahead and do that. But it just depends on how much you guys like this one uh that one i could probably do an axle dump on or something so now i just got to get this toolbox built all right smooth stone li uh, slab is what i like to use for toolboxes and then obviously your chest here 
And normally I just, uh... Go ahead and place it all like that. Then bring this up so it's even. Even that all out. like that do that and then throw it all along. oh wait no that's that was a screw up my bad so i mean you could do it like that i guess that's actually a pretty cool setup right there kind of like that considering uh, i can't even talk i'm so stuffed up considering uh this one is different this bed is actually wider How though? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This one. I think this one's actually bigger because mm -hmm. it's got three on the side. I don't know. It don't matter, but uh, yeah, it, it's a nice truck. Mm -hmm. And then, well, for Minecraft, I should say. Uh. Oh, there it is. So, unfortunately, you can't dye a cobweb or anything. If you could, I'd dye it black. But for the smoke coming out the stacks, I normally just do something like that. You know, kind of give it some... I don't know. Character, I guess you could say. We'll just go with it. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Um, uh, of course. Of course, with it being a diesel, you gotta have those diesel lights, right? So, yeah. There you go, I guess you could do it like that, or if you don't like that, then you could, oh, it's all uneven, so I'm thinking this is going to be the best look for it right there. Oh yeah, I don't look too bad. So, that's it, pretty much. I mean, now, the only thing... You have to do is whatever door you want. I'm just going to throw on a basic door. Just for this one. Um, you know, like... Oh, wait. I'm forgetting one of the most important parts. Everybody that has a diesel... I don't know anybody... Who has a diesel and doesn't have tow mirrors on it. So that's the part I'm forgetting right now. Is the tow mirrors. So. White is probably the best for this. You know. Again you can use something different if you want to. But I see white as being the best fit. Bam. That's literally all I do for tow mirrors. Is two slabs out, like right above that window, and then two glass panes. Now, I know I probably went through this crap a lot quicker than what I should have. And again, I'm sorry if I went too fast for you guys. But, um, you know, if you ever need to see something again you can always go back and pause it or whatever so um yeah so hopefully i didn't go too quick for you guys but the only thing going around the truck the only thing left to do is really cosmetic stuff that you guys you know may want to do to make it pop a little bit more or whatever 
I will just throw it out there if you get an item frame and you know you want to do some like rims on it or something I gotta just uh, run through an example here you could throw another star in there I think that's exactly what I did in my other truck to be honest with you throw that in, another star in there for rims give it some more character and then uh, obviously if you're like well this ain't even realistic I don't have a gas tank on the side well there you go that can be your gas tank right there <laughs> or your fuel tank sorry or your fuel cap Jesus Christ your tank would be underneath that'd be just the cap right there but after that all that's left is you can go here throw on a sign either put Cummins 3500 or Duramax 3500 or 25, you know, whatever. Uh, Power Stroke F250, you know, whatever floats your boat. It can be whatever you want it to be. But, yeah. This was just kind of a random video out of the uh, blue. I guess you could say I don't I haven't played Minecraft in so long I just felt like making another video on uh, the truck here that I have made for a long time while playing it and you know I just figured I'd share the I didn't get this from anybody um, if you do by any chance see it or have seen it on a channel called bossman893763 ftw that would be my other channel and if you don't believe me um there it is right there that's my gamer tag bossman893763 so that's the only way i can prove it to you guys that was my channel before i think it's at like a hundred and something subscribers now or 120 something I think I have no clue but yeah that was my old channel so and you guys seem to have liked it on there I think maybe it was I don't know if I did on that one or not but if I did then that's why I'm telling you I didn't get it from anyone else that was me making it back then from you know Scrap, I literally just built this truck from, you know, a picture in my head, pretty much. Had a picture of how I was going to do it, built it, and bam, there it was. And it came together, and then I've just been tweaking it and doing different designs and whatnot ever since. So, I mean, I haven't seen anyone else do it this good on youtube they there may be other people that can build trucks better than this i have no clue or you know whatever but um this is the best diesel pickup kind of truck style type thing i guess you could say that i've ever seen so if you guys have seen better ones then you know Take a screenshot of it, put it in the comments, whatever, and see what it looks like and whatnot. But yeah, here's this one. And uh, real quick, I'll switch over to the city texture pack just to show you guys um, how much different it is. So I'll just do one more, like, walk around, I guess you could say, of this one. Fly around, more like. Um, yeah, so, there's that one, and then I'll show you this one here, A purple on the inside, 
It's got the fuel cap there, like I was talking. So yeah, I have orange on here because uh, I can't do the red or else it would turn those on all time. But And then you can do fancy stuff with the lights too. Like I have this blue here on this one up here. I didn't do anything. But there's the truck. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, drop a like subscribe and i'll jump over to the city texture pack and show you guys what they look like in the city texture pack all right guys i'm back here in the city texture pack and as you can see this was the truck i was just showing you a minute ago that i built before the video of that one up there that i just built for you guys um and this one looks totally different now I see why I did these, because it's almost like it's got a black housing with the red lights in it, I guess you could say. But, yeah, th this one has got a bigger cab. It, this one's like a mega cab. And if you're wondering what those are, those are actually the, um, were they the note boxes or something like that. I don't know, they go along with the jukebox, but there's that, and I don't know where the, oh well, yeah, they go along with it, but as you can see, the inside is pretty much the same, oh, that's what I forgot to show you guys, um, that's for like the time over there, that's to open the door, got this chest in the center, that chest like the a box i like the speaker here this is like a shifter right here you know if you want to say it's a manual or whatever and then that's the radio of course and whatnot so yeah so this one up here would be an automatic dually which would suck although automatics aren't too bad i guess but, yeah, this is what it looks like in the City Texture Pack. Um, to be completely honest with you guys, that truck back there looks better in the City Texture Pack because I built it in the City Texture Pack, so, you know, it, of course it will look better. But, um, this one looks worse in the city texture back to me i mean this black carpet looks like shit um i don't know it just don't look that great in the city texture pack it looks a lot better than the normal one but that's gonna wrap it up for this video because i'm sure it's gonna be at least 40 minutes long maybe longer i have no clue but like I said, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you guys do want to see um, the other truck that I have in mind that I want to build for you guys. Um, and again, drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that other truck, I have not built that truck in easily three, four years. So, that one's going to be a tough one. This truck right here, I just built like last year, so it wasn't too bad. I think summer last year I built this one, so. But, yeah, so that one's going to be a little bit of a harder build i might just build it before i do the video so i can like get familiar with it then build it again for you guys in the video but um yeah and if i remember what i was gonna say now if you guys want to see me build like other things on minecraft uh it could be like a car 
Um, could be like a house like this. Um, you know, if you guys want to see anything on Minecraft, then uh, let me know. And I'll do my best to try and build it for you. But with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.